And hello there everyone, Joseph here, and we're here with some Rise of Flight action, yes we're back. Uh, so you might have seen in my last little uh, <laughs> video, the AI decided he, uh, well I guess maybe the AI fell asleep and he crashed into the, uh, the sea there at the end. We didn't get to shoot anything or whatnot and all that good stuff. So uh, a couple of comments left on the uh, my that last video telling me don't use uh, time acceleration with uh, AI. Apparently the Felix Doe does, you know, the AI flying the Felix Doe just does not like time acceleration, which uh, kind of makes sense and I'll have to keep in mind. Uh, though it doesn't, it's not bad when it's going from the channel over, but anyways. <laughs> Uh, on top of that, the missions have kind of, you know, they're kind of getting a little dull. It's the same thing. We go over, there's nothing to shoot at, and then we fly back, essentially, is what the missions are getting like. Uh, so I've kind of kind of on the uh, fence here right now. Uh, I might do, this will probably be the last mission for the Felix Stowe on the 31st Squadron. I'm thinking of transferring over to maybe a Bomber Squadron on land or a Recon Squadron or whatnot and flying and getting back to all that kind of stuff because this is going to get a little little thin after a while but uh let's go ahead and get ourselves a new mission here sound effects where have you come from so apparently i've got some sound effects going on i didn't realize i turned them on in the uh pat wilson generator but let's see here it's just another simple squadron patrol uh, patrolling the sea lanes a little bit more north of the lines instead of right on the line so we'll go ahead and accept that mission and we're set and done that's interesting that they have that uh, sound effects in it let me check a few things real quick because that kind of screams to me you know that's that's right that oh I guess maybe I guess it would be outside of this, wouldn't it? I guess maybe it, it uh, got turned on somehow. But anyways, we'll be jumping to the game, and I'll join you all when we get in, so stay tuned. And we're back. Here we are in game. As you can see, there's our little flight again. Uh, looks like actually it would be north of uh, Ostend. Ostend, I think I'm saying that wrong, and Zeeburg and uh, Burj. So let's go ahead and get in the hangar and set ourselves up. I think I'm going to leave it as the... Uh, well, essentially what we have here, the uh, Davis recoilless rifle on the front and the uh, top gunner turret there with a single on the uh, tail section. Uh, of course, taking out the two 230-pound uh, bombs. And let's go in. Oh, not that one. I wanted to go in here. And let's do a red scar for today with a black checkered streamer. Why not? Why not? And we'll stay with the Webley. Okay, so we're setting good. Let's go ahead and get into the game here. And there we are in the game. Alright, so while I'm setting this, I guess I can talk about a few things. Uh, well, one, if I sound a little tired, uh, I am. I am actually recording this at about 12 o'clock midnight uh, U.S. Central Time. And that would be because I was actually essentially babysitting uh, each every Sunday I usually go out and watch my nephews for my uh, older brother which is fun you know get to see the nephews so it's well worth it uh, and I kinda this one was kind of a late run because uh, I had to do a couple other errands before I could go out there and watch the kids and good set and done so I might sound a little tired and I uh, just want to let you guys know what was going on if I sound a bit tired all right, we're not turning. I need the need just one engine. Oops, I think I'm doing the wrong engine. I am totally doing the wrong engine. Oh, say. So I want to go the other way. Nope, I did it again. No, I just want two. There we go. I just want that one. I want that guy there. Get him turning. Uh, also, last week I kind of lacked on video content, and I will will say I lacked on video content. I only got out the Rise of Flight and the Falcon video, uh, and then I missed the rest of the week. And that would be mainly because it was a busy week for me there. 
So you'll have to kind of expect some of those from me on occasion when I have a, uh, a busy week. I might not be able to get videos out uh, on a, you know, on a daily basis as I would like to do, even though I haven't been doing that, which is, that just boils down to me being lazy. <laughs> uh, that's, that's more than that, you know. It's more just me being lazy than anything. As far as not having any videos out past couple of weeks but last this week was our last week I guess because this come out Monday uh, it was a busy week for me so I didn't have time to record too much uh, as far as that goes this week should be a full week hopefully uh, of course this video going out Monday tomorrow or well tomorrow for me well actually it would be today since it's 12 o'clock it's midnight and this plane is listing to the left hard come on baby Uh, but it should be a full week, so we'll have this out Monday. Uh, Tuesday, of course, will be Falcon, as always. Uh, Wednesday, we will continue Brothers in Arms. And hopefully, if the timing is right, we can get these, uh, we can get them done. Wednesday is also the release of, if you haven't been, uh, paying attention, Homeworld 2. Or, not just Homeworld, but the Homeworld Remastered Collection. Woohoo! I cannot wait. Uh, I'll actually admit I was kind of a... A bit of a uh, latecomer as far as the Homeworld series goes. Uh, I didn't actually play the original game, but I did play the uh, second one, uh, though a bit late, where I had to do uh, unethical forms of getting my hands on a copy. All right, let's go ahead and set the autopilot so we can switch to our ourselves, which is this front gunner here. Uh, and then at that, I mainly played mods with it, so I never actually played the full game. But hopefully, uh, Wednesday, if everything goes right and we can get these videos done, am I still in control? No, okay. Uh, I will be joined by uh, a Mr. Dreader, or as I call him, Craddock, on uh, voice comms, and you might have, uh, you might know the name. Uh, from the my other Men of War Assault Squad videos, the uh, where we played Men of War Assault Squads, uh, and some of my older videos. And War, of course, these ones are the Men of War Assault Squad two videos I have up, and the older ones I don't have anymore since uh, YouTube's content ID crap came in and decided to take them all down for me. So, yeah. Uh, but anyways, yes, so hopefully we will be doing some multiplayer collabs with uh, Dredder, even though he doesn't really do very much in the way of videos anymore since he's uh, working all the time. But hopefully, I keep saying hopefully, I'm sorry about that. We will get some videos out and recorded uh, Wednesday, maybe have them out Thursday. If not, it's going to be sometime like Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Even though Sunday is usually my day off. As far as videos go, I don't release a video on Sunday, and that's because I don't do anything Saturday. <laughs> so technically, Saturday is my day off. Since Sunday, I record these Rise of Flight videos. And if I can get my uh, timing right, I should, you know, I need to record them pre, uh, okay. Pre-release date, so I'm not recording them at the last minute. So I'm doing a little time acceleration here just because uh, I've had no issues so far with the AI on this part. And the long trek to the uh, other side of the channel. So I'll stop yakking about other things. And I will join you all when we reach the coast of Belgium, I think. Or is it France still? I don't know. Whoopsie. All right. You might have actually caught that. And that was because I accidentally clicked outside of my... Uh, my, my window there clicked on the second monitor I hope it didn't screw up the recording uh, resolution since that monitor is a different resolution but anyways I'll be uh, cutting here and I'll join you all when we reach uh, the, the uh, European coastline I'm just gonna call it that screw it since I don't know if it's Belgium or France <laughs> uh, so yeah so st stay tuned back as you can see there's the uh, coastline of Europe mainland Europe there that's what we'll call it and we have some kind of ship out here a single little ship 
putting along. We've uh, turned a bit towards it, so I don't know if we're going to engage it or not. I'm not quite sure what it is. I can't tell. Did I actually just fire? Oops, I fired. <laughs> I meant to right click and I accidentally fired. What I want to set these guys. I forgot to set my AI uh, to them to do the medium at the return to fire. Okay. So we reloaded. Let's go ahead and not that one. Not that one. It's set up in the gun here. Just in case it is an enemy uh, ship. So let's hope it is, cross our fingers, because that would be a nice change of pace for us. Since we've been doing nothing but chasing uh, friendly ships around in a patrol light. Oh, excuse me. I wish there was a way to tell what kind of ship it was. I need like binoculars or something. B for binoculars, no. no. Of course not. Can't raise my gun high enough to look through the the sight to see if I can see any details closer. Come on, buddy, get us closer. Of course, these uh, this greater distance from mainland Europe, we are. Uh, I don't know why I told the AI to shoot at stuff because there really isn't anything to shoot at. Hard me, I keep yawning. Like I said, I am tired. So, from what I can tell here, that is possibly a shipping ship. There is a single mast. Usually a good sign for sh uh, uh, what should we call it? <laughs> I just said a second ago, shipping, shipping ship. And which way is it steaming? Looks like it's steaming the opposite direction we're running in. So a ship heading to Germany? Oh look, there's another one out there. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Can I point my gun up? Nope, I'm at high the highest I can go. That is a shipping ship. Cargo ship. There we go. I don't know why I can't. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of that the first time I said something. Cargo ship. They are cargo ships. Single mass and it does have the look of a cargo ship. Though those two out there as well do have a look of a cargo ship, but I'm not real sure. But of course, there is no flag, so I can't tell what country it is. But it is. Oh. Uh, I don't know. It's steaming. It, it could be steaming towards Germany, but I'm not real sure. I guess actually here is my opportunity to look. Or not, because it's already past us. What are you? What kind of ship are you? Well, I know what kind of ship you are, but I meant like the country of origin of you are the ship. Yeah. No speaking tonight. <laughs> hmm. I really wish there were flags on them so I could tell if it was an enemy ship or not. So we haven't dropped our bombs, so that's something. Do the cargo ships have guns on them? Probably not. Probably no. We are getting awfully close to the waterline here. Kinda worried. Yeah, those kinda look like cargo ships. Actually, they might be military ships. I can't tell from here. Where are we going, guy? I am not sure. Though those ones would be steaming towards England if they were heading in that direction. Oh god, not again. Not again! <laughs> um. Well, hey, it says we were destroyed and then it threw me back in the... Uh, 
the plane there. Oh, shoot. All right, well, let's end this before we drown. Finish flight. Okay. Ah. <sighs> I guess, yeah, I fell asleep again. <laughs> but hey, it is a victory, though we crashed. Uh, we're still alive, though, thank goodness. The landing wasn't, uh, or the, yeah, the, the landing was not as uh, severe as it could have been. So I'm going to cut the video here again, and I will join you all back at the Pat Wilson generator screen. Stay tuned. And we're back. Here we are. So let's go ahead and submit that combat report. Submit the combat report. And it's still noisy, so let's start the debrief. So we took our path, da -ba -da -ba, we flew out here. Yeah, pretty much in our patrol area, started our patrol, and then we crashed. <laughs> yeah, alright, so <laughs> debriefing complete. And uh, nobody was hurt this time, that's nice to know. And we'll uh, finish that reading, so yeah, another balked mission there as we crash into the sea uh, I think I'm actually gonna take that as a a bit of a this is bug don't fly this so we're gonna actually do a transfer now what we're gonna do if there is any let oh there is some strategic bombing uh, on the English coast what are these the HP 400 that is the only one we can do we could do an observer for this one if we wanted to actually let's do that no uh, well, it's gonna probably make me still fly anyway, so we'll go ahead and accept that transfer and here we are now Archie ball or Archie ball <laughs> Archie Higgison is now a bomber pilot with the uh, uh, What is it Hitley Hutley? Oh, I forget what it's called the HP 400. I forget the uh, the name of it off the top of my head we have any? No, we haven't got anything new. So yes, we will be starting our new campaign uh, uh, as part of the number seven squadron of the Royal Navy Air Service Station at Oh Chindorkin, Chindorki. Where is that at? Uh, da, 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 intelligent map. Where are we located? We are located here. Okay, seven squadron. Yep, there, there we go. So we will be doing. Uh, we are still on the campaign. Uh, the campaign. Uh, we are still on the channel map. And we will be doing strategic bombing with the number seven squadron of the Royal Navy Air Services. So that is something to look forward to uh, in a future episode. So until then, uh, actually, you know what? I want to see something. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's going to make me fly over there. So I'm actually going to, can I scrub this mission? Scrub. And if I do mission again. All right, there we go. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so next time we will be flying in the big strategic bomber, doing some strateg strategically bombing. I can't get my words out tonight. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but, yes, anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time.